What's going on, guys? Will again with Gutter Fight Secrets. Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday where we discuss relevant topics that will aid you in becoming a better warrior, individual, and leader. So today's topic that we're going to be discussing is near and dear to the heart. In fact, it's so near and dear to the heart that I came home from jujitsu on the way home. I was thinking about it. I haven't even showered. I haven't even turned on the oven for dinner yet. I literally sat down in front of my computer and I wanted to get this recorded and off my chest and I'm going to wing it completely. So what I'm talking about today is being the light for other people to follow. Um, the light for other people to see in the darkness. That sounds super religious. Bear with me, all right, for you guys who aren't like into that stuff. This world has become very wicked. And I'm just going to say it, this country, at least if you're inside the United States and in many European countries as well these days, the West in general, has become wicked. Like, very, it's a very, very bad, wicked spirit. And I know that there's many people out there that are good men and women. You wouldn't necessarily know from looking around, but if you search, you can find, right? How do you find them is because it's like walking around on a very dark night. And sometimes you'll see a light shimmering in the distance. That light illuminates what is around it. You can see that light from a long ways away in the darkness. But the majority of trees and everything like that don't have any light. They're just existing. As you can tell, that's a metaphor. <laughs> that's a pretty good metaphor, if I say so myself, for, the, for life these days and going around. And you know, that light can attract... Can attract some stuff to it, right? Like, everything is drawn to the light. But some things want to stay out of the light. Predators, for example. That's how you recognize the other good people, right? They have a light in them. They have a lightness to them. And they have a way of treating others not only with respect... But they have the desire to be kind, to help others. And that's not common anymore. You know, I moved out west. I don't give the exact location of my AO out. It's not hard to figure out, but I actually don't. For reasons of security and insecurity. You know, I moved out here two years ago. Almost going to be three soon. Um... To get away from the wickedness of like New York City and Jersey and like the East Coast, right? I thought everyone was very rude, very just just cold place, very cold. Metaphorically and physically. Dark and cold place. And I came out west and you know, everyone was nicer. Um, everyone was a lot nicer. The state I live in is not California. I would never, never live there. Um, so everyone wasn't fake nice, like people are fake nice out here, but they weren't fake, fake, fake nice. Um, but they weren't, they weren't assholes either. And, you know, over the last two years, I've seen that change a lot. And I've seen society, American society in general, you know, to a large degree, European society as well, because I do travel to Europe quite a bit. You know, I've seen it change quite a bit. And I've seen over the last few years, people become meaner, colder, wicker in general. They care about their fellow human like less and less. And that's why it's more and more important than ever for those of us out here who who have empathy, who want to see others do well, who want to do the right thing. It makes our job a thousand times more difficult. But we are we should be that light in the darkness. 
that is not an easy thing to do because it would be much easier to blend in with the shadows and all the other trees and all the other predators out there. It would be much easier not to give a freaking heck about your other fellow man, right? That way you wouldn't have to worry. You wouldn't have to worry about doing the right thing. You wouldn't have to be worry about being accountable. You would just exist. But those of you out there with accountability, with a good heart, you won't do that. Those of you out there who are sheepdogs, who are looking out for your fellow human being, and who will protect your fellow human being, especially the weaker ones, the less capable ones, good on you guys. We need you more than ever. Now it is more important than ever before to look out for your human being because now more so than a long time, our fellow human being is hurting and they have no idea what the freaking heck is going on. They have no idea. Like a lot of them and some of them do, but they, I don't know. It's hard for them to break out of that selfish, ego driven, social media fueled trap that they have fallen into. And I'm not saying social media is bad. Oh, it's not it's definitely not like the best thing, but it's it's not bad inherently bad. Nothing is inherently good or bad, right? Like it's how we use it and how it's used upon us. If you want to be a good man these days, and I'm speaking to the men right now, because again, it's like majority men that watch my channel. If you want to be a good man, that's very hard to do these days because women have become incredibly wicked, and it's our fault for letting them be this way. In other countries, they don't allow their women to do this. They don't allow their women to treat them like this. They don't allow their women to get away with half the shit that we've allowed our American women to do. Their pain has become so great that through feminism, they have become too masculine. And a woman is not inherently masculine. Once she becomes, operates from her masculine vibe, she just fucks everything up. It's counter, it's counter to what laws of nature are and the laws of the universe. And I'm not saying it's your fault or my fault, because it certainly isn't. I don't allow women to get away with any of that shit, but it's a, it's a Western society's fault that we've allowed our women to just do this. But I've noticed that over the last, specifically over the last like couple of years, they've been getting worse and worse and worse um, to the point where they just they automatically look at men and 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 just treat them like shit. And like for those of you guys who've like been married for a while or whatever, are not in touch with that, like believe us when we say like I, I have friends in all age age ranges and um our women have become wicked. And our men as well. And I'm not even speaking about sexual deviance because like <laughs> I don't, I don't subscribe to that like religious stuff where it's like, perhaps like, like I, I, I don't subscribe to that. But um, it is what it is, and our society is completely backwards. We need men of solid moral fabric, solid moral fiber, and character to protect the weak and do good. Be the light for others. Shine your light forth for others to see in the darkness. And that does not mean that you have to go out of your way or put yourself out to help other people. Never use your own energy to help others unless you have a little bit extra to give. If you're not walking on the right path and taking care of yourself first, you will not be able to help others. And sometimes we're just, we don't have the energy that is required to help others. Sometimes others will bleed us dry if we let them 
and always want more and more and more help from us. And sometimes people, frankly, are too stupid. Don't help them. Leave them. It's just like if it was on a battlefield or a sinking ship. If you let everybody clamber into your lifeboat at once, they're going to swamp it. Sometimes you have to row out a little while and then come back and pick up the ones who can claw, 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 climb into your lifeboat. Sometimes in a triage situation on a battlefield, you have to treat who you can treat and leave who you can't treat. People are so hurting right now. People are so confused these days. You cannot help everybody, but you can help who you can help, and you can help yourself first. And if you don't have your own lifeboat in order, you're not going to help anybody else. So make sure your own lifeboat is dry and secure and provisioned first. And once you have everything squared away, be the light for others. But that doesn't always mean to directly help them. Being the example for others a lot of the time is just as helpful. Do not be discouraged, my friends, my brothers and sisters. Do not be discouraged. I'm not going to give you any religious jargon that, oh, the Savior is coming. Like, you are. You are your own Savior. And I, I believe in, I'm not saying I don't believe in religion or anything like that. But I'm saying um, this is not religious. Don't count on anyone else to help you. You are the one who is going to help yourself. And you are the one who is going to help everybody else around them because you're still watching, because you're a sheepdog, because you watch this channel. I think I average max like 50 views on these Warrior Wednesdays. Yo, people are too stupid to grasp these warrior concepts, okay? Those of you who watch... Like you are, you are it, all right? You are it and you are our hope inside the U.S. and outside the U.S. You are our hope. Be the light for others to follow. Be that light that shines in the darkness. Illuminate what is around you. Be a good person. All you need to do is be a good man. Whatever that means to you, realize that you're never going to be perfect. Do good. Be kind to others. Protect the weak. Help the poor when you can. Protect the helpless. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. Be safe out there, sheepdogs. Talk to you later.